Namaskar. I'm Suruchi Das and you're watching Rhythm News. In a staggering revelation, the National Commission for Protection of Child Rights has reported that over 1.1 million children across India are at immediate risk of being forced into child marriages. Despite ongoing efforts to combat the social menace, the figures from the 2023-24 report reflects a grim reality, indicating that while progress has been made, much work remains to be done. Child marriage is not just a legal violation, it's a societal crisis that robs young lives of their future, health and opportunities. The NCPCR has been at the forefront tirelessly working under the Prohibition of Child Marriage Act of 2006, focusing on preventing these harmful practices. Their strategy includes coordination with child marriage prohibition officers, district officials and law enforcement alongside community engagement and family counselling to educate at-risk families. The latest NCPCR report sheds light on the concerted efforts made from reintegrating school dropouts to organising massive awareness campaigns that reached over 12 million people across the country. States like Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh have been particularly active in curbing child marriage, showcasing how government intervention can make a difference when properly implemented. A key factor driving child marriages is the dropout rate among school children with more than 500,000 children in Uttar Pradesh alone identified as vulnerable. Through intensive monitoring, officials flagged students who were absent for over 30 consecutive days, intervening early to prevent potential child marriages. Madhya Pradesh and Odisha also followed with strong enforcement of similar measures. However, the battle does not end here. In culturally entrenched regions, efforts to end child marriage face significant obstacles. Karnataka and Assam, for example, have conducted over 40,000 meetings with local religious leaders, service providers and community figures to break the cycle of child marriage. These grassroots engagements are essential in communities where deep-rooted traditions still dictate social practices. Despite these positive steps, challenges remain. Some states, including Goa and Ladakh, have been flagged for their lack of comprehensive data collection, making it difficult to assess the full scale of the issue in these regions. The NCPCR is now pushing for better reporting mechanisms to ensure every vulnerable child is accounted for and protected. NCPCR Chairperson Priyam Kanungo has called upon state and union territory governments to prioritize child marriage prevention strategies. In a letter sent to the Chief Secretaries, Kanungo stressed the need for competitive cooperative federalism urging states to enhance collaboration while also competing to develop and implement the most effective child protection policies. While the road to completely eradicating child marriage may seem long, the NCPCR's ongoing efforts serve as a reminder that this issue can be tackled through awareness, legal enforcement and community involvement. The fight continues, but with persistent action and widespread support, India can move closer to ending child marriages and securing a safer, brighter future for its children. Jai Hind! In a world overflowing with information where news travels faster than light, it's time to redefine the way we consume news and entertainment. Stay ahead with the latest from around the globe. From the pages of history to the top interviews, blogs to podcasts, find all exclusive stories in one place, the Rhythm app. Uncover a world of entertainment with exclusive web series, captivating short reels and live moments through trending videos. For the sports enthusiasts and tech savvy, we've got you covered with top reviews from the business. Get ready for the ultimate experience. Download now Rhythm app where every story matters.